When I was just a kid, I never really had a permanent place that I could call my home. Just about every year, my family and I would always be moving, whether it was a new house, or a new apartment, or a new condominium. In the 25 years that I've been alive so far, I must have moved houses almost 30 times. And that's not really a terrible thing, I mean, I definitely still had a wonderful childhood that made me into the person that I am today. But because I was constantly moving, I've always had trouble defining a place that I could really call home. Last year, shortly after getting married, my wife and I wanted to move out of her dad's house and begin our married life on our own. So we bought a unit in a brand new condominium, which we were finally able to take a look at earlier this year. Stepping for the very first time inside what would be our new home, the smell of fresh paint filled the air of our newly constructed hallway. The featureless white walls of each room were like blank canvases, waiting to be decorated with love, experiences, and memories. In the last few years of my life, I had been fortunate enough to be staying in one house. But with the keys to our new place finally given to us, it would be time once again for me to move. Having so many heavy things that had to be transported from one place to another, I had to call for extra help. Gone are the days of transferring your furniture with a horse and carriage, because the future of moving is here. Thanks to the good people at Mober, two moving trucks arrived on our doorstep, carrying an army of men ready to help us move in whatever means necessary. Wait lang ma'am, kami na po. In what would have taken us an entire day to do, Mober was able to accomplish in just a single morning. Their service was low cost, fast, safe, and incredibly convenient. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Salamat. All right, now that the furniture has been all moved and we've kind of started decorating already, let me give you guys a quick tour of the house. This is the front of the house. This is the main entrance. And before you step inside, please remember to take off your shoes before proceeding into the rest of the house. Over here, we have the kitchen. We get the food from here, and then we cook the food over there, and then we wash our dishes over there. Here in the living room, we have some paintings. And obviously, they're paintings of nature because they're an endless source of inspiration, but also we have the real thing. And this one's all. If you're ever a guest in my house, then please help yourself to the books in my beloved bookshelf. Because you know what they say, knowledge is the key to the doors of success. I have plenty of books for everyone, all about different types of topics, and you never know what you're gonna find inside. This one had money. This is the balcony area where it's very cool and windy. We also have a second balcony. This is the dining room where all the eating happens. This is my office where all the magic happens. This is the bedroom where all the other magic happens, sleeping. This is the guest bedroom. This is the guest bathroom. This is the other bathroom. And that is pretty much it. My house was now filled with furniture and decorations 
that I could call my own, but I could still feel a space of emptiness from within. There was still something missing, and it was then that I realized that a house cannot be a home without the ones you love. not just a place, but a state of mind. It's anywhere that you can relax with your family and your friends, where you can dance and laugh. It's a place where you can be comfortable and just be yourself. After 25 years, I finally have a place that I can call home. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed this story about how my wife and I moved into this new house, into this new home. Alam ko na medyo dramatic yung paggagawa ko ng video na to, pero ganun naman parati, di ba? Pero alam ko na marami sa inyo ay nakaka-relate sa story na to. Kasi marami sa inyo ay OFWs, TCIs, TCKs. So, sa mga ganung tao na parating lumilipat ng bahay, home can be a difficult thing to define. So, for those people, I want to hear from you guys. If you guys have a similar experience about having difficulty defining what home really is for you then please share your experiences with me in the comments below I'd love to hear it. because on this channel we're always talking about traveling or where to go on the next adventure so just this once let's talk about home what home means for different people what home means for you guys let me know in the comments thank you ulit pala sa Mober for helping us move all the heavy furniture dito sa bahay namin obviously hindi pa kami tapos maglipat ng bahay kaya pa namin ilipat yung mga pusa and we still want to decorate this house a little bit more pero yung initial moving phase ay tapos na dahil kay mover and also a big thank you goes out to all the friends who came to the house warming house blessing party i hope you guys enjoyed the food that was prepared by my martial arts coach and i'm glad that everyone finally got to meet my parents hi buddy. hi Derek. hi Derek. hi 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 <laughs> Thanks also to my dad and Pastor Mario for blessing the house. Thank you everyone for coming. You guys are always welcome here to eat from my fridge or read my books or play with my camera. The beauty of nature. So anyway, that's all for now and see you guys next time.